Hi there. Uh, today I want to bring up the topic of which character should you consider picking from the five star character selector. First of all, regarding rerolls, what am I going to do? Honestly, I think rerolling in Watering Wave is going to be too much work, and I just I'm just kind of lazy about it, and I will just go through the story and I will get what I get. So the five star character that you can pick from uh, are going to be the character from the standard banner. There is Encore. We have, um, what's her name, Jianxin, as well as Verena, obviously, um, Lingyang, there he is, and finally, Calcharo. Um, there's the guy. So I'm going to talk about those characters and uh, give you my opinion, uh, the potential pros and cons for each of them. And uh, yeah, I hope this is going to be informative. Back to the topic. First of all, let's start with Cal Charo. Um, the thing with Cal Charo is that, first of all, obviously a lot of people think he looks very, very cool. There's the whole, you know, uh, Sephiroth vibe to him. Very handsome, long sword, long hair. It's a good time. Uh, so if you really like the design, I can definitely understand why you would want to go for him. He's a good um, electro DPS, pretty fun to play. Uh, I will say that one of the good points about him, quote unquote good points, is that um, the only other electro character in the game is currently Yuan Wu. But if you want a strong electro on field DPS, culture is a definite um, possibility. That said, obviously Yin Lin is going to be a new Electro 5-star character who is going to be the second rate of character banner just after um, Jin Yan. And so I think a lot of people really, really, really like Yin Lin. If Yin Lin is going to come out and you intend to go for Yin Lin, do you really want to pull for two uh, big Electro DPS? Um, I don't think so. So because of that, I would say... Uh, if I had to pick, I would probably put him in... This is my personal opinion, obviously. So I would put him in B, uh, simply because I don't feel like he's that necessary. And especially in my case, I do intend to pull for Yin Lin. So for me, I'm not interested, essentially. But I think he's a decent pick. Next, let's talk about Encore. Encore after Yin Lin, is one of my favorite characters in the game. She's absolutely adorable. And for that reason only, I love her. So she's incredibly cute. She has that super, super cutesy, adorable uh, aesthetic to her. I think her little woolies are the best. And so this is obviously a plus in my book. Um, she's also the only five-star character who's fusion. Um, but I would say that the problem she's facing at the moment is that there is literally no fusion support character. The other fusion characters don't really give her any buffs or anything of the sort. And uh, some people say that the ultimates are... Once you ulti, her abilities are a little bit clunky, and it's kind of weird that she goes from range to melee combat. Uh, but overall, I think she's very cute. She can potentially fit a nice element type in your team if you need that or feel that you want some fusion. Um, that said, yeah, Mortify exists and um, uh, Shiksha, uh, I believe, is given for free. So you already have some fusion coverage in that aspect. Uh, so I would say that she would probably also be B rank. Next character, I want to talk about Jian Xin. So Jian Xin is a little bit of an oddball. Um, this is going to be very straightforward. The problem with her is that she has been incredibly underwhelming in CBD2. Also, Jin Yan is going to be the first raid up character. He's arrow elements. Uh, do you want to pick that when Jin Yan is going to be right around the corner? Unless you really don't care about Jin Yan, of course. Um, and also, you have... Um, uh, Yang Yang, who is going to be free. Um, so the question is, to what extent is she going to be good? I think this is really a case of you got to wait and see. They have confirmed 
that she is getting a rework, right? So maybe, maybe she's gonna, she's gonna turn out to be absolutely great. So unfortunately, this character has to go on C, in my opinion, uh, because we just don't know. If she does not change, it's probably gonna be a D rank character, in my, in my opinion, if you want to, in terms of like which five star to pick. Uh, but currently, I'll put her on C because she does have the potential, the potential of being reworked, right? Next, let's talk about Ling Yang. Ling Yang is that uh, Tiger Boy. Uh, he is very fast. Uh, his gameplay is very fun. He's a strong uh, main DPS of the Glacio uh, type, right? That said, um, the first thing is that there's already two free units who cover the Glacio type already. Baiji, who's a kind of support, and Sanwas, who's a sub DPS potentially. I, I use the term sub DPS, but she she deals glacial damage essentially, right? Um, so the question is, is, do you want or need to go for Ling Yang when you already have um, Sanwa as well as Baiji, uh, who's over? I'm not seeing her. So there. Uh, who already covered the glacial element. I'm not too sure. I feel like that kind of lowers uh, his value a little bit. Um, and yeah, so I think he's probably going to be good. Um, I feel like he's probably going to be a, a decent B rank. Uh, I would put him around here. So yeah, that's kind of my opinion. Now, um, for the last character, it's going to be Verena. And I think Verena... As everybody knows at this point, she's absolutely OP. Uh, she is going to be incredibly comfortable to play and to just have around. That said, in my opinion, she does have um, a few issues. When I say issues, it's not real issues. But like, if we're looking for downside, one of the downside could be that she, as a support, she's very, very, very fast. You go in, you use a skill, you switch her out. And the thing is, like, if you really like your character, you probably want your character to be able to be on the field and do some cool stuff, right? And unfortunately, she's the fastest support in the game, and she does not really stay on the field, right? So there's the aspect of, like, do you want to pick a five-star character that you're mostly not going to see that much? And maybe you want a five-star character that feels a bit more special and is actually on the field, right? The other thing, in my opinion, is that obviously uh, we already have a five-star character who's of the spectral element, and that's Rover, so everybody's going to have that, right? And so I think that she's not the most necessary unit in the game, but she is going to be very, very comfortable, obviously. I think she probably goes to A rank. Um, she's probably going to be the quote-unquote best pick. She's a safe bet, let's put it this way. Now, that said, you can see that I have actually no one in the S rank. And the reason is simply that if you like a character, if you like the design of a character, the type of gameplay of the set character, any of those five characters is going to be S rank. So if you absolutely adore Jianxin, she's going to be S rank for you. And as for my personal pick, who am I going to go for? Honestly, I think I am either going to go for Encore because she's the cutest. She's S rank in terms of design. The other option is that if somehow Janshin is absolutely mwah, amazing rework, I might pick her. I'm not sure. She might be A rank. And I really have to think about it. We'll figure it out. But Encore is just too cute, dude. It, she's just too cute. So yeah, I guess we'll see. Anywho, I hope this was uh, helpful. Please don't hesitate to like, comment who you're going to pick, and subscribe. And I'll see you on twitch.tv slash kittycathy. I'll be streaming every day upon release for hours and hours and hours. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye, guys.